Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So you someone like me, at least in the past, who is super skinny and finds it hard to put weight on and wants to put weight on more in the form of muscle rather than fat. Because if so, then I highly recommend that you stay tuned for this video because I'm gonna show you various different things that I did to transform my body where I went from super skinny, weak and frail to super ripped and muscular within a one year period and gained around 10 kilos of muscle. So I'm someone that has a lot of personal experience with this and I'm someone that has what you'd say a very, very fast metabolism. And I get so many people that are in a similar boat to me and they say they find it really, really hard to gain muscle and actually increase their weight overall and that they have a fast metabolism and they're very skinny as well. So the first thing which most people are aware of is make sure that you're eating as many calories as you possibly can. A lot of people will say eat above your maintenance calories, so you wanna be doing that and you can work out what your maintenance calories are by looking at a calculator up online and putting all the information on there and that will give you a base point. So try and eat well above that consistently every single day because there's so many people that are skinny because they are calorie restricting and if you're calorie restricting whilst you're super skinny and trying to increase your weight overall it's going to be very very hard so don't be scared of eating a lot of food but if you start to eat a lot of food regularly for quite some time and you're not seeing massive improvements with your muscle mass increasing, or you are, but you're also gaining lots of fat at the same time, then you would want to reduce your calorie intake. So that's something you wanna be super, super mindful around. The second one is optimizing testosterone production and lowering estrogen production within the body. Because when estrogen's high, you can end up having what is known as a skinny fat body. So you look really slim, but you have muscle atrophy with actually excess body fat. And when estrogen is high, it increases body fat and water retention, and it lowers testosterone at the same time. And when you have low testosterone, you're also gonna have more water retention. It makes it way harder to gain muscle mass and keep muscle mass on and increase your weight overall. So you wanna do as much research as you possibly can into many different things that can increase testosterone whilst reducing estrogen at the same time. So what I'm gonna recommend is a few different things. So first off, you wanna be taking a high quality zinc supplement because not all zinc supplements are made equal and it has been shown through scientific research when you're taking enough of this daily, it significantly improves testosterone levels by about 40%. And so many people are deficient in this nutrient. So what I'm gonna do is put some links down below for UK, US and worldwide suppliers that can deliver the most highest quality of zinc to your door. And it is also at the same time a natural estrogen blocker. And it is one of my favorite testosterone boosters out there that is very cheap, effective and has no unwanted negative effects whatsoever. But I would also recommend taking a specific supplement that is absolutely key to block estrogen within the body because the zinc's good, but it's not necessarily gonna do it as effectively as this supplement that I'm about to recommend to you. So this is DIM, known as Indonol 3 Carbonyl. And this substance is naturally found normally within cruciferous vegetables. You could try eating them, but the scientific research shows that you cannot eat enough of this substance within food to get the estrogen blocking effects. And it also removes excess estrogen as well. So with this DIM supplement, you wanna be taking about 100 milligrams of this a day, preferably with food to maximize the absorption of this supplement and take it at least once every single day. So by using those both together, you're gonna to get the greatest synergistic benefit for increasing testosterone and lowering estrogen. Because using that DIM and getting rid of the excess estrogen, as I mentioned earlier on, will begin to naturally also increase your testosterone. There's many other things that you can do as well. And if you want me to make more videos on this subject in the future, I can make a video talking about the top like five, 10 different best supplement testosterone boosters out there that actually work and are proven through scientific research. And number three is the training. You need to make sure 
that you are consistent and doing the training correctly. So if you're hardly training whatsoever, for obvious reasons, you're not going to build muscle. Anyone knows that, so I don't need to go into detail as to why. And when I say you need to make sure that you're training correctly, I see so many people time and time again in the gym that have no idea about what they are doing in the gym whatsoever. You see a lot of people having bad form with calisthenics or bodybuilding exercises, or they're doing half reps, or they're doing some other weird stuff that is not tearing the muscle fibers, as much as possible so then they can grow as much as possible because the more that you fatigue them and tear the muscle fibers the more they're going to grow when you're resting and recovering so you want to tailor your program specifically for maximizing muscle growth so you want to do hypotrophy training which is normally within a 6 to 12 rep range and when you're doing it don't do it really really fast do it at a moderate pace and when you get to like the top of the movement, whether it's with push-ups, for example, when you get to here, hold for a second or so, and then come down, hold for a second or so. Because by going at a moderate speed and holding, you're getting more time under tension, and the more time under tension you have, the more you're going to tear the muscle fibers and fatigue your muscles as well. And I would recommend for most workouts, having six different exercises and doing at least three rounds of the exercises. So in total, you would be doing 24 different exercises. And when you get to the end of your workout, you should feel completely worn out, your muscles should be aching a lot and it should be really really hard for you to do any exercises after you've finished your workout whatsoever and if you're starting your workout I mean in the first few reps of the first exercise you're doing you're not finding it hard you're not training hard enough I personally train to failure so for example if I'm doing push-ups I would put a 45 pound plate on my back do push-ups with a relatively slow pace and after just a few reps it's really really aching and it's really really hurting my muscles a lot and it's hard for me to push through and when I get to the end I can barely even do the last rep or I can't sometimes depending on the different exercise that I'm doing to a failure so that's just something to be very very mindful of and I have trained many different people in the gym and I find it time and time again people are not pushing themselves hard enough but when I train them I really really push them to their limits and a lot of people believe that they can't push themselves as hard as I push them so you need to just be very mindful of your limits what you probably think is your limits is not actually your limits so push through it because when you push through and you do like consistent type of training in the way that I've mentioned to failure, the next following few days, we'll say like two or three days afterwards, your muscles should be aching a lot. If they're not, then you didn't train hard enough, change the workout, go back to it at another point and do it correctly and as hard as possible. And number four, which is the last one, which I mentioned about briefly earlier, is making sure that you are resting and recovering enough. Because say for example, you go and do a really hard workout, your muscles have not fully healed and regenerated, and then you go and train and beat them again. It can start to break down your muscles and not actually give you the muscle growth benefits that you're looking to maximize. So make sure you have adequate amounts of rest between your workout. So make sure you're having adequate amounts of rest between your workouts. And when you're not working out, you try and rest as much as you possibly can and go to bed as early as possible and get around eight to nine hours of sleep. Because if you're not going to do this, good luck trying to maximize muscle growth and increase your body weight. It's going to be very, very hard and it can start to have a very negative effect on testosterone production if you're not resting and recovering enough and also your human growth hormone production which is very key for maximizing your 
weight gain that you're looking to gain and maintain. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. Please share this video with anyone else that's skinny, weak and frail and looking to increase their muscle mass and their overall body elite weight. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me and the type of videos you can expect to get from me are calisthenics workout videos, calisthenics progression videos, what I eat in a day on what I do in a day videos, intermittent fasting informational videos, weight loss videos, and all other different videos to teach you the right information to go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desire, the fitness levels, and the energy levels as well. So make sure if you're interested in those videos, you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.